LibreOffice 5.4 is packed with great new features to make you more productive. A new standard color palette has been included based on the RYB color model. File format compatibility has been improved with better support for EMF vector images. This helps when you're importing detailed diagrams from other Office software. In addition, PDF files are rendered with much better quality when they're imported into a document. LibreOffice 5.4 transparently supports OpenPGP keys for signing ODF documents on Linux. This is great if you already use GPG or PGP for email, as it ensures the authenticity of your ODF documents, regardless of the mode of transport or storage. In Writer, you can now import auto text from Microsoft Word.m templates. When you're exporting or pasting numbered and bulleted lists as plain text, their full structure is preserved. In the Format menu, you can now create custom watermarks for your documents. New context menu items have been added for working with sections, footnotes, endnotes, and styles. Calc now includes support for pivot charts, which use data from pivot tables. When the table is updated, the chart is automatically updated as well. Comments are now easier to manage, with menu commands to show, hide, and delete all comments. When applying conditional formatting to cells, you can now easily change the priority of rules with up and down buttons. Extra sheet protection options have been added to allow insertion or deletion of rows and columns. Lastly, when you're exporting in CSV format, your settings are remembered for the next export operation. In Impress, when you're duplicating an object, you can now specify fractional angles. In addition, your settings are saved for the next duplication operation. A new keyboard shortcut was added, Control m to insert a new slide. Finally, LibreOffice Online has been improved as well. Performance is better, while the layout adapts responsively to mobile devices. In addition, a read-only mode has been added, along with change tracking support, native comment rendering and editing, and initial support for Asian language input methods.